Hey, so you want to learn how to play saxophone? That's awesome. My name is Paul Jones. I am a professional saxophonist in New York City, and I'm here to help you out. For the past five years, I've been teaching saxophone in the Adirondack Park in New York State in the public school system, uh, privately around New York City. And every summer I head to Sweden, Maine and teach at Camp Encore Coda. Um, I love hanging out with the students and trying to get better at saxophone and creating music together. It's super fun. I started noticing, though, that a lot of students needed sort of similar things. And so I started writing things down to make it easier and share information and help them out and refine my ideas and get better so I could be a better teacher and make them enjoy playing music uh, or help them enjoy playing music more. Um, and I wrote them all down and it turned into a book. <laughs> book is called Saxophone Survival Guide for Beginning Saxophonists. So what I wanted to do in this video was work through one of the sections out of the book. It's a great way to see if you'll like my teaching style, my teaching method, and maybe you will want to check out more. One of the big things about my teaching method that I hope sets me apart from other people is I really like to focus on having fun while learning. Um, we all go to school, we all do these things where learning isn't as enjoyable, and I think that's one of the things that brings us to the saxophone or brings us to music. Uh, the idea of having fun while doing it. It looks like it's super fun, and it is super fun. That's why I do it. I love doing it. Other aspects, though, that I didn't realize about playing the saxophone was how many great people I was going to get to meet and connect with um, because of music and because of this instrument, because of everybody else's shared passion for music. It's really a wonderful thing and I, I never thought of it when I started saxophone. And now today I have friends all over the world and all over New York State and all over the country because we all share this passion for music. So my first lesson out of the book is the one on improvisation. Uh, if you don't know what improvisation is, it's when you see a saxophone player on stage with no music in front of them and they're kind of like wailing away and making up all these notes really fast and they always look super amazing. They probably have a cool hat on. They look really special. The lights are on them and it looks really fun. And there's various styles of improvising. Everybody has their own way of doing it. I'm a jazz saxophonist. That's the style of music I like to play. But I want to help you learn any style of music that involves the saxophone. And I want to give you the best ideas I have to help you learn. Here's the big picture. Take your saxophone out, pick your favorite song, start playing along, and have fun. That's the goal of this lesson. It's as simple as that. I got a bunch of words coming that go way more in depth about everything, but for now, take your saxophone out, take your favorite song, jam along, have fun. Leave a comment down below if you're like, man, that was great, I really love playing, or man, that was really hard, I don't understand what to do, and why did you ask us to do that? Um, and just let me know what you think and if it helped. A little bit about the book. It's not a traditional book with paper and a cover and things like that. It's a PDF. But because it's a digital book, it has links in it to private YouTube videos where I explain all the things that you're working on. Uh, I read the chapters to you because the book is written in my voice and I want you to hear my voice. Um, also there's videos about that really just boil everything down to simple ideas to think about when practicing, to make practicing easier, to make the saxophone easier. It's not necessarily just a typical method book where I write down scales and patterns and things like that. It's more about what you think, what you feel. Why did you come to the saxophone? Why did you click on this video? What draws you to music and this instrument? That's what my book is about. And that's what my teaching method is about. If I can inspire you to have fun, and play the saxophone and love it, you're going to want to practice and you're going to want to keep playing. And I think that's my job as a teacher, an educator, and as a performer. <laughs> Improvisation, who wants to take a solo? So in the digital form of the book, which you'll be getting, there'll be videos and things that you can click on, which will be exactly like this. I will be there reading the lessons to you and helping you experience and get through each lesson. Who wants to take a solo? This is usually one of the scariest questions asked of beginning saxophonists. The most common reply is typically no one. My opinion on why improvising is so scary is that we never practice it and have no idea what to do. Not knowing what to do or the fear of the unknown 
is probably the biggest hurdle to conquer in the initial phases of improvising. See, I'm trying to get in your head, I'm trying to make you get over your fear. One of my favorite exercises for getting over not knowing what to play is to simply pick one of your favorite songs, put it on on your home stereo or headphones at a solid volume, and start jamming along. It doesn't matter what style of music it is or if there are saxophones on it. The most important part is that you really enjoy the music. Use your ears to figure out the correct notes or what key to play in. Try and listen to what each instrument in the band is doing. Communicate with those instruments through your horn. Play with the drummer, bass player, pianist, etc. Match their energy and excitement level. Think of it as a conversation. Create your own melodies and rhythms, even harmonies. Close your eyes and have fun. Before I started formal practice, I mostly played along with records. I did this for about a year. Many of my peers today have shared similar stories about how they love to play along with their favorite records. They went on to say this experience was crucial in cementing their love of music, their instrument, and then eventually practicing. So out of all the subjects covered in the guide, this one might be the most important to me. If jamming along to your favorite music causes you to fall in love with playing your instrument, I say focus on jamming along for as long as you want. That might mean you spend all of your practice time in the beginning just playing along to records. Eventually you'll start to notice that you lack skill in certain areas of your playing and because you start to enjoy playing so much, you'll naturally want to get better, thereby making all the other sections of the guide much easier and more rewarding. So if you like the lesson, check out the links below. There's a link to my book, and then there's a link to my website. Go to them, check them out, explore them. And if you like the lesson, pick up a copy or message me and get in contact, and we can explore music and explore saxophone together. Thanks for checking out my video, and look out for more.